Hello everybody. Um, my name is Gentless Page, and today I'll be looking at LEGO Set 75312 Boba Fett Starship. And I'll get into that later with the name. First of all, the set came out in 2021, and it retails for 50 euros, which is also the price uh, that I got it for. And so therefore, it's the smallest, um, bo uh, the smallest Boba Fett starship or Slave One released as a set itself, which wasn't included in like either a book or the Cloud City. And first of all, I I do like it, but I will get into that later. Um, it has two mini figures, like within Boba Fett and. Din Djarin, the Mandalorian, and let me start off with those two. Get off, get away, the starship itself. Now, uh, let me rearrange some things to go into the minifigures. So, we have Din Djarin on the left and Boba Fett on the right. Let's start with Din Djarin because he's the most boring of the two. Um, well, he looks pretty good. First of all, it's really nice printing that he has. And I quite like, well, about everything this about this figure. It's a really amazing figure. It looks really good. I do believe that the having the dark um, brown is a bit too dark, in my opinion. But the light brown will be too light. So that's like a uh, compromise. And I'm fine with it. And... It's a, it's a really beautiful silver. Uh, about my only gripe, there's two gripes with the figure I have. And that's his helmet. On camera it looks pretty good, but the helmet is like either not bright. And, uh, it, it's too bright, but it's not shiny enough. And yeah, but it's, it's just they wouldn't do a chrome, like a real chrome version of his helmet. If they did, it would have been perfect. Except for the other part, which is the face print. I hope they have, uh, they will have in the new Mandalorian uh, N1 Starfighter that he will have a face. But at this point, we already knew his face when the set got revealed, released, and so I'm quite sad that he doesn't have his face print underneath here. And for his accessories, you have the Beskar spear. And a small gun. Pretty cool to have. Pretty accurate to the scene. And again the shine is pretty cool. Too bad about the face. And it is a beautiful helmet mold. The Mandalorian one. Although I do believe that the front looks kind of weird. And I don't really know what it is. But it just looks weird. So from the mask down it's a perfect figure. Let's go on to Boba Fett. And... Um, this is post Sarlacc Boba Fett, which is probably the way I'm going to describe him. <laughs> and uh, let's get the elephant out of the room. This shouldn't be sand green anymore. He should be like dark green, maybe not, maybe just regular green. But it is like a disgrace. Also, you can't really see the printing in my light. It looks all the way black. Maybe I can adjust something. No, I can't adjust, but I can. You can see that he has the. From inner to out, you can see he has black, then some red, and then dark green, and then you get onto the sand green. I'll have him here so you can see that better. The printing on his helmet, it looks pretty good. And uh, let me get the. An older version to compare him to. And comparing him to another version of Boba Fett, which I have, you can see where this print is just like a revamped version, where it's it's repainted and it it's accurate in that way. Some color differences, but well, if you repaint something, the color is pretty different. And comparing these two, it looks really good, and I'm quite proud of having both of them, to be honest. But it's about this one. <laughs> Where is all his printing is amazing except for 
well, it's not printing. It's the color of the helmet and the jetpack, but that mostly the helmet, which is my uh, gripe with this figure. For the rest, it looks really cool. He has like a simple blaster, nothing too bad. And for his face, yeah, finally. Uh, we, uh, we had some uh, Boba Fett figures with great faces, but this one is amazing. It looks accurate, has the right color scheme, where it's consistent with the clones. And wow, it just looks really cool. And it's quite, ha I'm quite happy to have him like this, where you can keep him without the helmet even, but the helmet is the biggest gripe with the figure. And my other gripe with the minifigures are that it's just these two. I, I would have really loved if they would like include a Fennec, but they didn't, so uh, fine. Two minifigures is not that much, but there is something else in the set. I wouldn't consider it a minifigure, but it kinda is, because they have a creature in Carbonite. They have like a, a Gamorrean Guard in Carbonite, which is the old way in my opinion of doing in Carbonite, where I would have liked to see the bigger one, but that just doesn't fit in the ship, so I get why they chose this version of it. But this one looks pretty cool, I don't consider it a minifigure because it's just a piece with another piece, so, but it is pretty fun to have included. Now, before I get, before I get into the ship, let me go into the other thing first. And the other thing, it's like this, it's it's like a, a, well, a card that takes it away, or you can place it on here, and you have control here, and it's it's like a, a small speeder. Let me get the ship on it to see that he can hold it, and now let me just rearrange some things. So, and as you can see, it fits in between these parts. And let me just start off with showing you the ship like this. From the back. <laughs> it's a bit hard to get on camera because it's, it's, it's quite a tall ship if you have it this way. And the back looks really cool. You have the uh, outputs in the right um, positions and it's, it's enough dribbling. And except for this part, you might have noticed, and that's because it's not for greebling. That's because if you pick it up, you can get the handlebar out of it, and you can carry the ship on your head. It's really sturdy, doesn't fall off, nothing. But let's go on to the front of the ship, which is probably more interesting. Um, for the front, you have the dark, the dark red parts and you also have the sand green parts and some dark green parts where it kind of looks like Boba Fett with dark red <laughs> and um, these pieces they are really cool and first of all this ship it looks really good I have the compartment open by the way this compartment you can open it and then put the uh, Gamorrean guard in there and close it back up which is pretty accurate as it should be and I do punch, <laughs> but um, for the ship you have a cockpit which you can open and close. I'll get into that later. And you have a lot of stickers which indicate some wear and tear, especially on the lower parts because this is where it would land, and in the desert planet, planet that would show really badly. <laughs> and for some stickers, you have two stickers on the front right here, where they go into like well, a bit more green on them. I didn't put them in exactly as intended. They should be like really on the edge so you won't see this gray line but it's a compromise I made. Um, you also have two stud shooters which are probably like the worst part of the set. <laughs> if they didn't include them it would look really cool but they're a really easy fix um, to put down or to change. And I'm standing it like this, which is kind of like not how you're supposed to do it, but 
it can be done because there's a little bit of play in the movement where as you can see a little bit of play it, it isn't um, falling apart or anything it's really sturdy but it's just a little bit of play so you can actually stand it up like this I just now realized it but <laughs> um, something you might have seen already by me doing this is that the wing parts or the stabilizers or whatever they're called they are stable with the ship and they move with the ship which is really cool and they don't move all the way because they eventually get stopped oh no they do oh no they should be getting stopped but it isn't really put in well they should be getting stopped but apparently they don't i will have to rebuild it in a bit then but for the cockpit which is the next part um, you have a little tile, nothing more, and you can put Boba Fett in here. And you can put him in some different, um, in some different ways. I'll get off his communicator or his Pfizer thing. You can sit him on the top, where it's like standing, more or less. And I believe you can still, well, close it down. But it doesn't really close all that well. So I think the preferred method is for him to sit on those two studs. The only thing that I um, noticed while putting him in all the different... No, you can't be putting him in here. The thing I noticed with putting him in the ship is... In any way you put him, his... Um, well, I will just get the part. This part, it will almost always get in the way. So I, I'm taking it off, which is pretty annoying if you want to display him in the ship, but you have to take it off. And there is no real spot to put it or his weapon. Also, these guns, you can adjust them uh, up and down. But, um, what is something? Yeah, but... Let me get into my final thoughts and get him standing back up again, all the way to the back so you can actually see it, and to get Nano in here. Um, for my final thoughts, uh, let me just start off with the naming. Lego probably renamed the set, or, well, Disney, I thought, I think even uh, changed the name of the ship canonically where it isn't um, described as the slave one which it actually is no it is just in the series it's even described as being like another ship Be well the classification of the ship and not the name which is fine but I still believe this to be the slave one and I will always see this ship as slave one not as Boba Fett starship but it's probably just a little, um, it's, it's a little change, it's a small change, but it is still one change, uh, which is apparent. But should you buy this set? And I would say yes, yes, yes. If, <laughs> if you want a slave one, if you want Boa Fett Starship, then this is your cheapest option to get, to get one, to get a full one. And that's my biggest plus to this set, because it still looks really cool. If you want the most accurate version, yeah, sure, get the UCS set. But it's way more expensive. Even a reg the, the previous Slave one was like 120, 130. And so if you just want to have a small display piece, if you don't have all the space to put up, like I have, <laughs> then this is an amazing one. Uh, I personally bought mine because I really wanted a Slave 1, but I didn't want to pay, um, well, more than $100 for one, or euros for one. Uh, I, although, I, to be honest, I was thinking about buying the UCS one when it was on uh, shelves, but I was like, yeah, it's a large sum of money, which is so with UCS sets. And this one is still pretty amazing to have. Like, 
I don't need another one, and they will probably it will take a while before they release another one. And this one is really great to have until I get like stable enough to buy even more. Um, but for the minifigures, well, uh, both of the minifigures are with their helmets and what's underneath. And the missing Fennec, because I really think she should have been included in here and not in the light cruiser. Which is not a bad set, but I don't have it because I don't really need it, to be honest. I'll probably get it, but I don't need it. And that's like everything I have for this set. If you want a slave one, then this is an amazing one to get. If you don't have all the space to put one, or you don't have the budget to buy a bigger one. If you, however, do have the budget to buy a bigger one, then yeah, I would say buy a bigger one. If they are still in the market uh, for a reasonable price. Because, in my opinion, that's better to get than this one. And especially with this figure uh, being in the... Um, can, no, not the cantina. In the um, throne room set, previously Jabba's hut, it isn't exclusive anymore. This figure wasn't exclusive. And I do believe that there will be another Slave 1, or as I will probably call it, Bofet's Starship, in the near f future. So, uh, I, I you should buy it if you don't have the, enough space. But I've said it many times. Is it the best version of the ship? No, most definitely not. Is it the best version of the regular ships? No, not even. If you... Disclude the uh, UCS set, and it's, it's not even the best set. I would believe that even the 2012 version, in my opinion, is better than this one. Like, I believe there's one in 2012. <laughs> and although the most recent one had the statue, uh, had the spring loaded shooters, which kind of deprived this look, but still, that's the same thing with these stud shooters. So, it isn't the best one, but it's an amazing one. And that's probably for the ship as a whole. It's an amazing ship to have. And that's it for my video. I have a speed build up in the description. You can see, you can uh, find it right there. I also have some other sets, reviews and speed builds, some mocks, some display pieces, and uh, I have a 50 subscriber um, special, which you can also see in my channel page. And that's it for this video. If you liked the video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe by your edit. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.